Hub. Hub. Hey, my name's Oscar. We coming in from the Wolf Den. We with Hub Two Car Kitchen. You know it is. It's Hub TV. Yeah. My name is Jalen Fayad. This is Hub Family. Hub TV. Family Hub TV. Hub your life. We on the Hub TV. Hub. with the Hub family. It's Hub TV. This is called CJ and you on Hub TV. That's what I just said. Hey, Hey, stretch to the left. Sound off. One Sound off. Two claps. Ready, hit. Sound off. Ready, hit. One, two. Oh, yeah. One, one through. Go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good old. Hey, 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 all right it's your boy flick it up tig and we in the wolf's den and i'm here with my man my name is frederick fine i go to ignacio valley high school i'm a senior this year i play a quarterback i've been playing for all four years and i've been playing football since i was in first grade Right, right. So what brought you here to YV? What, what made you want to play ball here? Uh, main reason I came to YV, when I was a freshman, my mom used to work here. So I came to check the school out, check out the football team. And, uh, and it's not really what got here, but it's what got me to stay. The, it's the energy at the school. It's like, even though the school was, we, we're known as a losing school, but the energy at the school was always our head held high. So I love that energy at the school, and I just wanted to be part of something that could be great, and I knew this could be great, so 
I stuck out for the whole time. So. All right, appreciate that. Is there a professional player that inspires you, or is there somebody you model your game after? Uh, a professional player, I would say, like a professional football player. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, okay. Or so, they can even be college. It can yeah, be yeah. High school. Somebody, somebody that pushes you to be where you need to be. So one player that I feel, uh, I feel that I look up to is um, Patrick Mahomes. I know it sounds like a like a cliche, but he you know he he all around all around good football player, a good quarterback, and you know he out there he got the swag, he got everything you need to be a football player, and that's just what I'm trying to be. So, right, that's a good player to watch right there too. So, like that. Uh, what's a lesser known fact about yourself? A lesser known fact. Something that may, many people might not know about you. Hidden talent, if you may have. Hidden talent? Something that people don't really know about me is that I know how to play the piano a little bit. Uh, it's not a lot of opportunities where I get to play the piano, but if I do see a piano, I know how to play uh, All I Want for Christmas by Mariah Carey. So. Oh, you got to do that for the uh, holiday game. We got we to gotta see that at halftime. <laughs> We're going we gonna to push it out there for you. We're going to push the grand out there for you. Get a baby grand. We're going to get a baby grand piano. Uh, next one. What personal goals have you set for yourself in this upcoming season? Personally, uh, some goals I set for myself is just to be, as a quarterback, I haven't been playing quarterback for that long. Uh, most people don't know this, but I've only been playing quarterback for the last two years, and the other two years I've been playing receiver. So stepping up uh, out of nowhere to become this leader position my, my main goal is to become more of a leader and help, help guide my team in the right direction because when we take losses, I put, I put a lot of that on myself. So what I want to do is I want to be able to, to guide my team in the right direction. I want to be that person that's able to be the person that everybody wants to follow and we just go in the right way. So Nice, nice. And you've been here all four years, so who's your favorite teammate? My favorite teammate? I got to say uh, Oscar because I feel that, I feel that Oscar is on um, – he, he's had the most, most growth, as I've seen throughout the whole team. Like, he, he came in when I was a sophomore. He was a freshman. You know, he was goofing around, you know, just doing stuff that freshmen do. But I feel that, I feel that as the years kept going on, he kept showing his dedication to a sport that he didn't even know before he came to this school. So just to see that and to see him, like, really come in here and grind every day and stay committed and stay consistent as much as I am, it, that's just that's just a good sign and a good person that I want to be around. So that's that's why I chose him to be my favorite teammate. Right, right. I like that. I like that. Man, it's been a great round of questions, man. Appreciate talking to you. This Percy White. I play receiver and free safety, and I go to Ignacio Lincoln High School. All right. Good to meet you, Currency. And uh, what brings you here to YV? Why did you want to play ball here? Um, I just love football overall, and I love a good coaching staff. We got a great foundation and coaching staff. Like Mm-hmm. Is there a professional player that inspires you or that you model your game after? Um, a professional um, football player that I can say I model my game after and watch film is Chad Ochocinco. Um, a little bit of Jamar Chase, too. Okay, some swag in there. Okay, some swag. Both both ends, but also some good route running. Both of them are great route runners, so you got to see that. Uh, are there any personal goals that you've set for yourself for this upcoming season? Um, yeah, um, I want to get to a thousand yards this season receiving and about like at least five to ten interceptions on the defensive side of the ball. Okay, are you a DB too? Yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, what's a lesser known fact about you that nobody knows? Um, or maybe you have a hidden talent. A lesser known fact or a hidden talent? Um, a hidden talent, I play the drums. Okay. Your quarterback played the piano, man. You gotta make music together, you know what I'm mean? saying? That builds some chemistry. <laughs> piano and the drums, all we need is a guitar. Is a, right, hopefully a linebacker play guitar. <laughs> we can get the band together. Let's get the band back. Right. All right, last one. Who's your favorite teammate? Oh, my favorite teammate, I would say is uh, Big J. Big J is my favorite teammate right now. And why? Um, just because the chemistry is there. Um, we got to understand on and off the field. We talk, you know, we do stuff, curricular activity, stuff like that. We just click. 
Sweet, sweet. Well, appreciate your currency hanging with us out here in the Wolves Den. Thanks, you man. heard it here first. It's your boy Flick It Up Tig and your boy Hub behind the scenes on the camera holding it down. Brian Rodriguez, how y'all love? I go to school in Nacho Valley High School and I'm a class of 2027. All right, man. Good to meet you. So what brings you here to YV? What made you want to play ball here? Honestly, uh, when I was little, I always wanted to play football, but my parents just put me into soccer. And I just I just stick to it. But now that uh, I got into high school, I started playing football, and I, I fell in love with it. Okay, okay. Is there a professional player that inspires you or that you model your game after? Um, I'll say I, I, was, I used to like watching uh, like Ray Lewis and stuff at home. Just watching the linebacker highlights. Just, yeah. Ray Lewis. Ray this Lewis. man. BBA. I mean, I got, man, I'm, I'm, they pumping me up for this season. Right. I got to see this season. Somebody going to get smacked out here. I need to see this. Ray Lewis, if that's your favorite player, I need to see some hits. All right, so have you set any personal goals set up for yourself this upcoming season? Uh, yes, I have. I've been trying to get my 40-yard dash into, like, four point. Five, just trying to get it better, and just mm -hmm. keep talking, just keep working towards towards my goals. That's about it. All right. What's a lesser known fact about you, or do um, you have a hidden talent, something that not many people know about? Um, I like I like to dance. I like to dance with females. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. My man likes to get his boogie on. All right, last question. Uh, who's your favorite teammate? My favorite teammate? Uh, I got to say it's probably Romel. Romel. And why is that? Because I just like how his work ethic is just so is there. He's always, he's always going 100%. He's, just, he's always locked in. He's in that mode. All right. Well, I appreciate you hanging with us out here in the Wolves Den once again. It's your boy Flick It Up Tig. Behind the scenes is your boy Hub holding it down. Kimi New Knox, class of 2025. You're at Yenashio Valley. I played tight end and DN. All right, all right, my guy. So what brings you here to Yenashio Valley to play ball? What made you want to come here? <laughs> really just coming out here in Antioch. I miss the hot weather from being back down south, and I just like – everything about this place to be honest with you of course if you got basketball down here in california but i feel like i could have brought that aggressiveness that we got down down south back here to cali okay for sure for sure is there a professional player that inspires you or that you model your game after <sighs> so i say definitely I guess this is universal. I say a Shaq persona, kind of <laughs> just, <laughs> just big, man activities. big, big and dominant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I said that. Activities all day. Yeah, yeah. Uh, for this upcoming season, any personal goals you got set for yourself? Definitely going to the Division One college level, getting yes. looks from scouts and coaches, and I definitely want to make playoffs this year. No, they, this is definitely going to be an eye on you, my guy. So yes, thank you for bringing the spotlight over mm -hmm. here to the Wolves Den. Yes, sir. Um, Got one for you. What's a lesser known fact about you? Or do you got a hidden talent? Hidden talent. Uh, well, for some some of my folks that know me, they know I can sing. I actually got a song coming out uh, next week. Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, look. Well, you, well, you know we do media, so you know we got yeah, video. Yeah, video, yeah, video, yeah. Video, of course. Of course. <laughs> we make, we make you hot, man. We make you yeah, hot. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, since you've been here, who's your favorite teammate? <sighs> man. I would definitely say Jakari. Jakari, he he's definitely from California, I could tell, but he's got this like <laughs> he's got this like southern kind of strong boy mindset. And I really appreciate that about him. He's got this like lively personality. He's always hyping up his teammates. He may make mistakes sometimes, but he's always back at it. He always goes hard, and that's what I really appreciate about him. Okay, for sure, for sure. Appreciate that. Well, it was good hanging out with you. You heard it here first from your man out here in the Wolves Den. It's your boy Flick It Up Tig holding it down once again. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Your boy Hub behind the scenes. <laughs> hey. And we out. We out. Shout out Hub TV. What's up, y'all? I'm Dalton Gates. Uh, I'm in 12th grade. I go to Ignacio Valley High School and I play wide receiver. All right. Good to meet you, my guy. So, what made you want to come here to YV to play ball? Man. YV has got 
everything another school doesn't, you know, because for a little bit, I went over to Northgate and that's all that did is draw me right back here to YV where I belong. Sweet. Uh -huh. Yeah. Is there a professional player that inspires you or you model your game after? Uh, I really like Jerry Rice. That's my guy right there. Okay. Yeah. Greatness out here. Okay. <laughs> that's, good. that's a good person to look to. Yep. So you must be good at running that good post. Yep. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Uh, also, John Taylor was good at running the post on the other side. It was for real. Outside post for Jerry, inside post yep. for uh, John. I'm a Niner fan, so I'm... Yep. Uh, what's a lesser known fact about you? Something that somebody wouldn't know much about, or a hidden talent, as you might say. Uh, I mean, some people may not know about me. I'm a one of seven children. Yeah, I got a big family. Yeah, and I'm not I'm not originally from uh, California either. I'm from Colorado. Okay. Yeah. Welcome to the Bay. Welcome yeah. To California. Appreciate uh, it. For the upcoming season, are there any personal goals you set for yourself? Yeah, I'm looking to get around a thousand yards plus at least ten or more touchdowns this season. Okay. Yeah. I like that. All right. Last but not least. Who's your favorite teammate so far? My favorite teammate. I got to go with Fred. That's my quarterback. That's my guy right there. He's the one holding it down, going to give me the receptions I need. So Fred's got to be it. Okay. I like that. Well, you heard it here first, hanging out in the Wolves Den. It's your boy Flick It Up Tig. Dalton holding it down with the wide receiver position. Yep. You know what I'm saying? I'm watch the white Jerry Rice. Y'all going to see it. <laughs> white Rice. We're going to <laughs> this is man, white rice. All right. You see it. Yee. We out. Damn. Yo, defense, coach. Can we offer? That right, defense yeah. up this first. Where we going? We're going. Offense on three. One, two, three. Offense. Hey, keep your offense. You have the other one? Yeah. Oh, good job, dude. Oh. There you go, Jordan. Put the pressure, now everybody tripping. That's what I just, that's what I just said. Now y'all change. Good. Pop your feet, pop your feet. Knee. That's good. Technique. Good. Step. 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 You just said 70. Set. Ah. My name is Silas Davis. In school you go to? Oh, I go to Ignacio Valley. Uh, I'm a sophomore, and I play at left tackle. Right, right, right. All right, so why did you choose to play football at Ignacio Valley? Um, my brother my brother played uh, varsity football three years, and I just wanted to follow in his footsteps and play too. All right, right, right. And who do you model your style of play after? I, uh, I don't really have somebody. I'm just going with the flow, really. No, it's not somebody you watching in particular right now in the not league, really. college, nothing? Mm -mm. Nope. Just going to be you? You're going to be mm -hmm. the next? All right. You have any personal goals for this upcoming season? Get a win. Get a win? Get a, win. Get a sack, get a tackle, something like that. I like that. I like that. What's a little known fact about you that nobody really knows? 
You got a hidden talent? Not really. No. Um, I got a lot more stamina than people really realize since people I'm I'm bigger, so people think I'm usually slower. So, so you're gonna be out there outlasting everybody on the field, huh? Yep. All right. Who's your favorite teammate and why? Favorite teammate is Oscar because he can like get the team ready and excited for everything. He can calm us down, just get us ready for what we got uh, prepared. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, you heard it here first in the Wolves Den. My name is Najib Hami. I go to Ignacio, Ignacio, Valley, Ignacio Valley High School, and I'm a center. I went to sophomore year. Right, right. And why did you choose to play football at Ignacio Valley? I chose to play football because my friends talk about it so much. Yeah. All right. Well, I hope it's something that you learn to love. You know, yeah. you got to love the sport. Yeah, I love the sport. Yeah, of course. And who do you model your style of play after? Is there a certain football player you're watching right now? No. Nope, not at the moment. Some good linemen to check out. Uh, who's a good one? Uh, Orlando Pace. Uh, shoot, Orlando Brown. Larry Brown. Larry Allen. It's a few of them out there, man. They're making moves. I'll show you how to pancake. Do mm -hmm. uh, you have any personal goals for yourself for the upcoming season? Win games. Definitely win games. Okay, yeah. okay. What's a little known fact about you that nobody really knows? You got a hidden talent? No. No, nothing? No. Not double jointed? No? You no. don't like mayonnaise on your pizza? No. <laughs> um, I, I used to play soccer. Uh oh. Yeah. Okay. That's surprising. Yeah. All right, who's your favorite teammate and why? My favorite teammate? I would say Roman. He got me into a sport, so, yeah. Okay. All right, we live in the Wolf's Den once again. It's your boy Flick It Up Tig, and I'm here with the illustrious Ignacio Valley head football coach, Ray Jackson, uh, here to ask him a couple of hot questions. Got a couple of hot ones for you, sir. How you doing today? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. How you doing? Good, good. And how long you been coaching here? I've been coaching at Ignacio Valley since 2016. I uh, started off coaching, well, I'm still coaching girls basketball. I got the football job three years ago. Okay. Well, this would be my third year, so two years ago. Okay, okay. And what has been your latest or greatest achievement with coaching the football team? Wow. Um, besides being 0-20, um, now nah, I, I think the, the, the best thing is just seeing the kids improve because we have a bunch of kids that never played football before that have learned how to play football and now start – are about to be um, successful in playing football. So that, if there was any bright, bright thing to say to the season or the most successful thing for this season is just to see the improvement of the other young men as they, as they under the game and playing. Well, bright is a good key word to segue into our next question. Cause is there someone on the team that you see whose future is bright? I mean, I know we expect as coaches that everybody's future is bright, but is there one that you see that you in particular, where you like, that guy's going somewhere. We do have a couple of young men that can have had the potential to, to, to go somewhere and play on at the next level. I don't know in the preseason moments, is it wise enough, wise to say who, who, who that is or who it might be, but I'm going to Just gonna an take, early forecast. Just an early forecast. I'll take early. a shot at that. Well, we just got in a transfer um, from, from, uh, from uh, the East Bay, uh, Jokari Gibson. Hmm. Jakari Gibson is probably going to be a very exceptional athlete in this and new to this area. Um, strong um, and smart. But the biggest thing is he's just a good person. You know, you get a couple of players that come in. They know that they're good. They know they have the advantage athletically. But he, he doesn't have that vibe. He just comes in. He's a great team player. He encourages his players. He talks to his players. He wants the best for his players. It's just crazy. You get an a athlete of his caliber, and and it, and, it, and it can do the things that he does. So humble and modest. So Jakari Jakari uh, Gibson is one. I think our quarterback, our, our senior quarterback, that's returning, uh, Fred Fine, has the potential to move on to the next level and do very very well. Um, I think y'all interviewed Oscar earlier. Oscar has the potential to go to the next level. His his is only as much work as he put in as far as he go. 
Um, we have a, we have a, it's a few more, but those are the ones that that kind of stand out. I think y'all met the freshman quarterback uh, Jalen. Yeah. Um, he, he, I seen him early. He, yeah, he I think, looks good. I think you guys followed him in youth football. Yeah. yeah Exceptional probably. athlete, great family. That's a great pickup. Right. His father is actually our defensive back coach right now currently. Um, so we, we the cupboard is stacked. Uh, most of the returning players are underclassmen. So the for we nation of football right now is nothing but up. All right. I like that. I like that. Uh, last one. If there's one thing you could leave for the kids, for the team, what would it be? If there's one thing that you wanted them to learn above anything. Wow, that's a very good question. I've never been asked that question. Um, I would hope my 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 uh, approach to coaching them through life skills. I hope I lead them life skills that they can use beyond football and can just use in their everyday life. So if I was to leave something, it would be, you know, uh, discipline, uh, dedication, respect. Uh, respect for yourself. So just basic life skills that they could be that they could use and be successful in whatever endeavor that they uh, embark on as, you know, football or just, you know, working in everyday life. I like that. I like that. Well, we appreciate your time, coach. You heard it here first in the lines. Well, not the lines. We full of wolves out here. You understand me? And we out of here. And this is Hub Family on Hub TV. As a senior, do you feel like it's kind of a responsibility for you to teach the young guys so that they kind of build the intensity of the game and, and the love and the dedication and the hard work for the team? So yeah, I'm Dalton. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, but you yeah. think you grabbed me from me? Oh, yeah, yeah. About league title, what would that mean to you? Be able to accomplish those things this year? That would mean 
everything. I really want to bring it. Man to man, if your guys are slant, call the slant. Yeah. So my bandit and wolf, and now. None of y'all, none of y'all is sad. None of y'all suck. None of y'all are ass. Six, one, two, three, Whoa. four, five, six. Whoa. My name is Austin Ajera. I play linebacker at YV, the Natural Valley football team. And I'm a junior, three years on varsity. And what my number are you? 52. Right, right. All right, why did you choose to play football for YV? It was, I saw the environment. I came in, I was new to football. I never played a single snap of football in my life before that. All these people here invited me, they welcomed me in, and I fell in love right after that. Right, right. Who do you model your style of play after? Is there a certain player that you watch? I watch a lot of Ray Lewis, so smash mouth football. That's a good player to watch right there. That's somebody, that's a good player to model your style after. I, I got to see some games if that's what you're looking at. So, uh, for this upcoming season, you got any personal goals for yourself? Be the best on the team. Be the best out there. Right, right. Get my, get my name on the map. I see, I see. All right, what's a little known fact about you that not many people know about you? I'm tough. Hard hitter. Oh, so being tough is a surprise, huh? That's going to be a good surprise for these cats out here on this field. I can't wait to see that. It's going to yep. be an exciting season. Uh, who's your favorite teammate and why? I'd say Fred, the QB. He's hilarious. He's fun to play with. And when it's time to get that football, it's, it's, he turns on the switch and he's a whole different person. He go to work. He's strong. He's tough. Just like me. For sure, for sure. All right. <laughs> Cameo, your boy Fred. Your boy. Your boy, surprise. That's your favorite teammate. Well, thank you for being with us, Oscar, in the Wolves Den. We hope to see you again, man. Especially making some wild plays out there on the field. And uh, you know, good luck on the season, man. Wish you nothing but wealth and health. Appreciate that, coach. For sure. Be blessed. Chakari Gibson. All right, and what school do you go to? Yes, you know, Fatty. And your class and position on the team. Class of 2026. Wanted back at linebacker. Okay, okay. And why did you choose to play football at YV? Because I been, um, I transferred for EC. It's a better opportunity over here, you know. Better opportunity to play, start, you know, build a whole community to back together, and let's roll with some games. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. So you said you play running back and linebacker. So who do you model your style of play after? Is there a certain player you watch? Uh, yeah. I watch Marshawn Lynch. That's like my cousin in law because he related to um his cousins, they they my um mom. So Okay. okay. I, mean, I look up to him and I look up to A. Lewis too. Yeah. Uh, you a hitter too. I see. Uh, you got a fellow teammate that uh that's one of the guys he modeled his style of play after. So I mean this 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 is this is gonna sound like, Yeah, this sounding real exciting right now. Uh do you have any personal goals for yourself for the upcoming season? Yeah, be it records, you know, you know, win games, be a build a team together, you know, be a team player, be a leader. Right, right. Uh, what's a little known fact about you that not many people know? What's a, what's a little known little quirk about yourself? Uh <laughs> You like to sing? I'm a rapper. You're a rapper? I'm a rapper. Okay, yeah. okay. Spit something right now. Nah. nah. <laughs> <laughs> Keep that up for the other day. All right, all right. Uh, last one. Who's your favorite teammate and why? Favorite teammate? Oscar. I look up to him. He, he pushed me. I push him. Like, if he need me, I'm here for him. If, if I need him, he here for me. Right, you know? right. All right. I like that. Well, appreciate you, man. Thank nice you for coming down to the Wolves Den. Yeah. Got your boy Jakari. We out here. Yeah.
Jalen Fayad. I currently attend Ignacio Valley. I'm an incoming freshman and I play quarterback, class of 2028. Right, all right. Welcome, welcome, Jalen. Uh, so, why did you choose to play football at Ignacio Valley? Um, like, for me personally, like, I feel like football is like a way to like express myself, express like what I'm going through in like a positive manner. And like, I feel like this school could really help me get like opportunities to go where I want to be in life. Right, right. And so who do you model your style of play after? Uh, CJ Stroud. That's a good one. I like that. I like that. You have any personal goals for yourself for this upcoming season? Uh, over a thousand yards in both categories, rushing and passing. It's a pretty big feat for a quarterback. Got to see that. Right, what's a little known fact about you that nobody knows? Hidden talent, double jointed. I don't even know. Um, you sing opera on the side. I'll be rapping. Oh, you a rapper too? We got some rappers yeah, out rap. here. You know, I'm going to bust a little cypher one time after yeah, rap, one of these frank albums. albums. They're going to make an album. The Wolf's Den album. Coming soon. You heard it here. Hub TV. All right, last one. Who's your favorite teammate and why? Um, I feel like it's Jakari because, like, he wants me to be the best I can be. And, like, he's like an older brother to me. Like, ever since, like, he came, he's been helping me out with things that, like, other people normally don't. It's like a brother figure to me. Right, right. I like that. I like that. Well, you heard it here first in the Wolf's Den. Main man Jalen with Flick It Up Tig. And we out here. All right, yeah, we here with Ray Jackson, head coach of the YV Wolves in Nacho Valley. Got a scrimmage coming up on Saturday the 24th. And uh, how you feeling about it going into the scrimmage, coach? Well, hopefully it'll be a productive day. Trying to see where we at offensively, defensively. Uh, the level of skill from our our different uh, players we got playing this, this Saturday. Hopefully we can get a good look, get introduced to some full contact. I mean, we've been hitting each other a little bit, but now we can see uh, we are in line five. So hopefully it'll be a productive day. We can be, get a good assessment of, of our team. Uh, how you feel about your quarterback going into a senior season, QB1, Fred Fine? Uh, anything particular you're looking for from him this week? Uh, just to be consistent, be consistent, be a team leader, um, run, run the offense effect efficiently, um, make good decisions, um, and make his throws. But I'm not too much worried about Fred. Uh, when the lights come on, he's a big time player. Oh yeah, we saw a lot of Fred last season. He was a uh, Lamar Jackson at some moments last year. Right, right, right. Uh, any new faces that you're looking forward to seeing in action? Anybody you want to see in, in anybody special, or just any moments you're looking for, or just an all-around good just uh, performance from the team? Well, I'm hoping. I'm hoping one 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 thing I'm really looking forward to is to see how our defense does, and see how they respond and how they play. Um, in order for us to, to do anything, we're gonna have to be able to tackle some people. So we got a little bit. Uh, we got a little bit better at some of the skill positions, linebackers, DN and D-line. Uh, we've been at it now for two years. I think this is the year that we see a, a lot of productivity across the whole defense, from the corners to the linebackers to the D-line. So hopefully that'll be something that uh, you know, does well and, 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 and is productive. And then a couple of players, we have a couple of transfers that we, we anticipating and hoping that they show up and do well. Uh, Jakari Gibson, uh, Currency White, a few others. We got a couple of surprises we're gonna have for for some of our uh, our fans this year. Tremendous speed at the wide out position. We're excited to see that. Um, so it's, overall, we just can't wait to see the product on the field. I guess you could say. That sound good, Coach. I look forward to it. You know we're gonna be there to get every moment this season. So uh, well, you know I rock with Hub TV. Yeah, how we do it. We're going to see you Saturday, Coach. See you Saturday, huh? All right. Line up on the 40, they going in. All right, it's game time. Get ready. Off on the ball. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Wolves on three. Uh, loyalty on six. One, two, three. Wolves! Four, five, six. Wolves! Let's go to work. Yeah. Let's go to work. 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 Yeah, it's time. It's time. It's Hub TV, live and direct. They don't know about Hub TV. They will today, though. Yeah, man. Next show about the Wolves, man. We finna do the damn thing. 
Oh yeah, man, it's just another day in the office, man. Watch how we shine, man. Quarterback to quarterback. Fred, I think Fred just a great outstanding player, bro. To jump in and wide, catch a touchdown, you know what I'm saying? Just outstanding. So we gotta start just dialing in on like Dalton. I don't know what he's nervous about. He caught a touchdown early. Yeah, so and lit somebody up. So maybe we're selling in. I saw it got a little bit better as we started going. You know what I'm saying? The defense looked better. Everybody started going. So it just take a little bit of a juices, but we could bury ourselves in the first quarter if we come out like that. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so now when we go 11 on 11, whatever we got to do to pump everybody out, but we need to come out strong. So we're going to go TD right, blue ND read. So we're going inside zone. So I hope that we struck some fear down there in some of them because I saw some shit where they look like we was going to No, yeah, I'm already, yeah, I'm already not. Yeah. yeah, so, you know what I mean? Then I think our bread and butter on the run would be the counter, the blue counter, but yeah. I don't know who you got on that side. We we'll soon shall see. Yeah, but if yeah. we can't go to it, then we just can't go to it. We be creative. We gotta do something other. Us, we throw hey, this is a great job, though. We, we looking kind of good. I'm not. We not that far. You know what I'm saying? Rules on three. Love to six. One, two, three. Four, four, five, six. Love. You can line up outside with it. You gotta take that inside away, bro. Not only that, like you also got help on the inside. So trail his ass. No one was coming your way. So ride with him. That's us. There was no one coming over there. Hey, if we ever come here, crazy, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Coach Aaron? Yeah, man, sorry. Just let him off the line. Don't let him miss all. I'm trusting y'all. Barbecue chicken. Barbecue chicken. I got confidence, y'all. Come on, now. Lock up. Get a break. Come on. Come on, come on. No fly. One, two, three. No fly. No fly. Nobody was Right off the bat, we're going to go slant strong. Matt, Charlie. Green. All right. Go. Okay, Coach Ray. Go, y'all. Come on, Kurt. Come on. Oh, yeah. 
Come on, Oscar. That's your man, Oscar. That's your man. Dog, he, he got help over the top, dog. He can't guard nobody. He got help over the top. You knew he was going to run that. Hey! Some people wake up. We see some people can play at certain positions. Okay, it just takes time, and we're growing, and we're growing fast. Okay, we, the next thing we got to do: conditioning, 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 conditioning. Why? Because a lot of people will start to get tired after a while and we short. Okay, so you guys need to understand that we got a lot of conditioning coming in all next week. All right. Let's go. Clap it up for yourselves. Yeah. Keep the energy up, man. Uh, week one next week. And we just going to go to Alameda Coach, bro. Go in there and knock them in the day. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. Jordan. Uh, not bad. Like I said, it was your pop quiz. You feel me? Your first official test is next Friday. Um, there's a lot of shit. You know, we got to clean up all together, individually. You know, who you are. Um, ice up. I know y'all a little banged up. Uh, come over to work Monday. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Six more days till we want to know. I told y'all this the other day. I said I believe we can have a messed up practice, but our sprints, our conditioning, always stays up here. So today, it proved it. Y'all ran 60, at least 60 plays today. So running 60 plays, going both ways, I'm proud of y'all. So great job, ice up, 
Hydrate up. Get some good food in you tonight. All right, rest up. Be ready for Monday. Let's go, Coach. Coach. Hey, so, so, you know, it's, 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 it is what it is, right? Some of y'all are extremely cocky and think you know what you're doing and you fucking don't. You don't. Be coach this week. When this week comes, be coach. Shut the fuck up and be coach, right? Some of y'all uh, show, show, show what I call sometime courage. If there's a little scrawny D lineman on you, you want to have courage. When the big motherfucker get on you, you don't want to, you don't have courage, right? Some of our, we miss a line. We're not getting out the huddle in time on defense. There's just a lot of things going on that we need to clean up and do well. Our wide receivers don't know their routes. You see what I'm saying? Just a whole lot of things that's going on. Yeah, we can throw the ball deep every time, but sometimes we can't throw the ball deep. What if they drop back five, six deep? Right? So it's just a lot of things we need to clean up between now and Thursday. You follow what I'm saying? And it's going to take everybody coming, everybody participating. If you a big dude and you're not trying to pound on nobody, if you're not trying to hit nobody, then don't come back. Right? Everybody that's big, if you're not trying to hit nobody, you're not trying to block nobody, don't come back. Like, we'll just figure it out. Because you have size, you have the things that we need to be successful in the run game. Run game is telling five. Oh, 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 I'm still talking, man. You know it gets dark out here, so make sure if you got personal items out here, grab them and take them in, okay? Good. Okay. Good. okay. Good. 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 Thank you. Jason, you got my shit. Woo!